It's July 14th, 2023. I'm in Savannah, Georgia at the Georgia Southern University Armstrong campus. These are the recreational fields and this is the path that leads to the disc golf or frisbee golf, but I guess they can't say frisbee golf course. This is a paved path through the woods here. Anybody can use it. People like to jog. People walk their dogs, blah, blah, blah. And I was trying to record a bird, but of course it doesn't want to do it on camera. So instead we're going to do a tour of all the small flower pawpaws that I found so far and noticed today. So we're starting in the middle, of, well, I guess kind of the middle, at the edge of that field, and then going this way whatever way <laughs> so I have my cart because I'm planting persimmons native persimmons here in the woods so we're just gonna I'll show you all the pawpaws that I know of this is a simina parviflora native especially to the southern US I guess it likes the humidity here is the first one you can see it has dark green leaves when it's growing in shade. That little paintbrush tip at the end is a telltale sign of a pawpaw. The leaves always have smooth edges, except for when there's insect damage like this, or like that one that got, just got eaten. The leaves alternate, meaning there's left, right, left, right, blah, blah. I don't care if that wasn't left or right, it's just, for example, but they form zigzags. Unlike hickories, which they usually get confused for for baby hickories. Not that that's a good example, but yeah, leaves form a zigzag. So there's this one. Here's this one that's regrowing because these get chopped down a lot. So these ones will probably never form fruit. You can actually see the stem there all the times it's been chopped. So there's that one. And then over here on the roadside, we have another one. This one is further back enough that it doesn't get chopped constantly, so it's bigger. Got some good leaves. Still got that paintbrush tip at the end. This one does not have any fruit. You can see the stem is, well, maybe you can see, I can see. If the cars will slow down, it's, the stem is warm brown. This one's kind of a yellowish green because that's a newer stem. So yeah, there is another one right here that's got smaller leaves, but that's younger. Grab my cart. Got another one up, that's a baby oak tree. I will try to only focus on the pawpaws and not get distracted by all the other plants. Here, I don't think you can see it. Of course, I didn't bring my snake poking stick with me today. So I will just watch carefully where I walk. Uh-huh, this one's got fruit on it. So this is a really big one, it's like five feet back from the path, so not likely to get chopped down. But it's got thicker stems and it's got some fruit here. This fruit will probably ripen in September. There's another fruit. And there's some cool mushrooms growing on that little stem. There's another stem back there, but I'm not walking back there. It's got fruit on it. This is also the area where the native honeysuckle grows, but I already have videos on that and I'm trying not to get distracted. So, you can keep track in the comments of how many plants I've found, because I'm not keeping track. Here's another one. This one's got much longer leaves. And when these grow in the shade, they have very dark green leaves. Hopefully you can hear me over the school buses going past. And here is another stem. 
these ones have very similar shaped leaves so this is probably the same as this plant here because they, they turn into bushes so they'll send up multiple stems so yeah you can see like these leaves are very oval shaped and here's a hickory to compare it to and here's more of the pawpaw I thought this one had fruit on it but I guess not Ah, and here's my favorite example right there, but first, excuse me little frog, look at this one, that one, that bigger one, uh, there might be some over there by the fence, but I don't know, there's one, there's one, there's some witch hazel, hickory, and this here is pawpaw, 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 persimmon, and hickory. So, all right, I said I wouldn't get distracted, but I don't feel like walking all the way back here to make another video. But the hickories have compound leaves, meaning this is all a single leaf attached to the stem instead of like being on a twig like these are. And the hickories very noticeably have serrations. See the little edges there? and they're much more shaped like a diamond. The persimmon leaves are, also have smooth edges like the pawpaw and alternate in a zigzag, but they are lighter green, even in the same kind of lighting. I hopefully it shows up better for you guys because it's really obvious to me. But uh, their leaves tend to be rounder while the paw and kind of a plain oval Sometimes they have dark stems, but the persimmons, they start, pawpaws, start off pointed at the base like a triangle and then get wider as they go out. The persimmons just kind of, they're oval shaped. And I have other videos comparing these three plants because they also get chopped to the ground very often, so they just kind of stay this size. But having all three species right next to each other is very convenient for teaching people how to tell them apart. So let's continue. Hey look. All right, I said I wasn't gonna get distracted. But here's the pawpaw and here's another persimmon. So that's freaking cool. And this one's got bigger leaves. You can see blah, blah, blah. Yellow leaf stem stuff. There's another persimmon stem right there there. Blah. Some more pawpaws over here. This is the big section. It's underneath this giant freaking tree. I forget which kind of tree this is. Walk carefully out. Sorry little moth. Oh, there's a damselfly. Look at that. Oh, no. Let me get your video. You want to land on the pawpaw? Hopefully you can see the damsel fly. It's that little black line there. Alright, well, I'll leave you alone. But this is a big pawpaw. It's far enough away. It doesn't get chopped down a lot. It's got fruit on it. And it's just like encircling this tree. So there's this. This stem. That little one right there, around that side. And there's some more back there, but I'm not walking all the way back there. And these shorter leaves up here are where they do get chopped down, so those are new and growing back. Let's continue. We're at this little golf course thingy-majiggy. We're not going in the woods today. We're just going along the path. Here. Yeah, there's a little one that gets chopped down a lot. So this is actually what they look like in spring. Because in the spring, they're usually new growth. So they've got shiny little wrinkly leaves. And then they get smoother as they go down. And these ones are all light green. Because they have to constantly regrow. This is also where there's some purple passion flowers growing. That also get chopped to the ground. Because they're too close to the sidewalk. So... These will probably never flower. There's some that have stretched their way back there, so they might be safer back there. 
So maybe we'll see some flowers here at some point. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm making a YouTube video, not talking to myself. <laughs> Here's another purple passion flower. This one is, I mean, growing upright. I'll probably just get chopped down again. Let's see. Somewhere here is the big plant that was the biggest one here until they chopped it down this year because of course. Never remember where it is. Just look at this tree. It's got a giant hole in it. Oh, here it is. This is formerly the largest pawpaw here. regrowing. It's got really long leaves. And I guess I can show you the bottom of the leaves. They're lighter green with a green yellow central leaf stem. And this one, oh, that's actually nice. This is still showing the kind of transition that they do usually do earlier in the year. So that means this one also got chopped again at some point. You can see as the leaves go up, they get lighter because that's those are the new ones. And we continue. There's probably a lot of them back in all of this stuff, but I'm, I'm not walking back there. Not wa wading through the tall grass. That's where the Pokemon are waiting. <laughs> and by Pokemon, I mean snakes, probably. I've only ever seen one snake here, and it was from a distance, which is disappointing. Oh, here, where did it go? Oh, yep, okay. Carefully, this is like kind of the center of this wooded area, but there's some big yellow, or why am I calling these passion flower? This is American Beauty Berry, and this is a small flower pawpaw that grows here. It used to have more stems in this section, but they died, I guess back there. You can see that tall stem. That's another one. There's a lot back there, but I don't feel like walking back there today. Oh, there's one with fruit on it. Okay. So I guess I have to walk back there now. Eh, do I really want to? Not really. It's hot. You can see the fruit right there. There's light green things. And there's another tall one right there with the, it's got split at the Y at the end and then going down to the ground. And here's one that, yeah. See, so you can, oh, I have the camera zoomed in, sorry. So you can see how big the stem was before it got chopped. So now these are the new shoots coming out to regrow. Here's more of it growing under there. Let's continue. I think the next one is on this side. Maybe it's there. <laughs> so there's a lot of sunlight like that. You probably won't find them growing because they grow best in shade. So like all the sunlight here is not good for them. And here's some freaking fire ants. So anytime you see a big pile of dirt like that, that's freshly turned dirt, do not walk there. They will freaking bite and it will make your legs swell up and hurt. Oh, there goes a squirrel. I don't think I've found any pawpaws here. Well, that means they're probably on this side now. Hey, look, another persimmon. We're just finding a lot of them. So, yeah, I said this was about pawpaws only, but there's a persimmon growing at the base of this oak tree. I don't remember what kind this is. It's some kind. And across from this magnolia, which is covered in scars from sapsuckers. 
moving on, or what, how does the meme go? Moving swiftly on or something like that. At some point, oh yeah, there it is. I was gonna say, I knew I found one back here. Hmm. If you're going to walk through the woods, make sure you are looking before you step. Okay, that's close enough. So you can see this big pawpaw plant back here. It actually has a central stem and then more coming off because this is too far back from the sidewalk to be chopped. I don't see any fruit though, so maybe next year. And there's a hickory. <laughs> so yeah, I'll have to rewatch this video and see exactly how many plants I have shown because I'm not keeping track. It's too hot out for that. And this is sweet leaf, like I don't know if I said that. But they flower in super early spring. I don't know why they're called sweet leaf. I guess maybe the flowers smell sweet but I've never noticed. This is sweet pepper bush. I'm pretty sure it's native but it's got kind of crinkly looking leaves and then tall flower stalks. I saw a seedling back over there by that persimmon or pawpaw but I didn't feel like making a thing of it so. There used to be some sparkle berries growing on this section here but they got caught down. And at one point I had planted swamp milkweed there, but that also died. Probably because there's not enough water. And there are not any pawpaws in that little section because there's too much sunlight. I said I wasn't going to go into the woods, but uh, we might go into the woods to show you this pawpaw back here. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is like the first, one of the first paths. There's a big tree there, the part, it's like partially paved, really weirdly. Get that stick out of the way. Have I made a video about the American Beauty Berry yet? I don't think I have. So this is what they look like. They've got kind of soft diamond shaped leaves with rounded serrations. They got fuzzy stems. Those top two leaves have some kind of disease on them so they're kind of mottled looking. But they form pink tiny clusters of flowers that form Berries that eventually turn green, or no, berries that start out green and then turn purple. And despite the purple color, they are actually edible, they just don't taste like anything. But I guess they're good for you. Here I am saying this is not going to be a general plant video, but this is, wow, I just forgot what it's called. Spurge nettle, pretty sure. This is a native little wild flower that gets cute little come on camera cute little white flowers like this and flower buds and then they form little spiky seed pods the stems are stabby as are the bottom of the leaf the central vein of the leaves but not like they're not like roses they're not gonna really stab you Probably just to avoid being eaten by deer. Oh, I see some yellow passion flower. Uh, how much poison ivy is here? Not enough to stop me. Here is some. I said purple passion flower, didn't I? This is yellow passion flower. It's got little, little, soft little baby leaves. It'll get bigger, assuming it doesn't get eaten. And there's another stem too. There's 
another one. It's getting taller and another one behind it. They have little tiny flowers like this big that are pale yellow and then they form into berries that start out green and then I think they turn like purpley blue. Haven't actually gotten to eat one yet because all the birds stole them. Here's some more of the spurge nettle, which I just think is neat. Here's one without flowers. They got these three lobed leaves. They kind of look like passion flower leaves, purple passion flower leaves, but these have little points on them. All right, the pawpaws we're coming back here to see are over here. Hopefully my phone doesn't randomly run out of space before we get to them, because that would be really annoying. Gotta clean these branches up. And this is all part of the disc golf, frisbee golf course. You see they've got little green signs with arrows. I'll show you where to go. This is all sweet leaf again. Most of the stuff. Sweet leaf. This is Yapon Holly. The leaves are used to make a caffeinated tea. The berries are not good for you. Don't eat the berries. You see this giant freaking root that looks like a log? Alright, up here is where the persimmons are. And I can show you... Wilson. <laughs> Unless they chopped Wilson down. Oh my gosh. Or I'm in the wrong spot. Huh. No, I think I'm in the wrong spot to find Wilson. Here are these passion flowers and at one point I had all of these sticks arranged very neatly forming a border but no so here's this passion pawpaw this is the pawpaw and now being crushed by sticks because people are rude so these were too young to flower last year so they will do it next year And there are some more back in here, but it's hot. So I'm going to go home and eat a popsicle because it's hot out here. <laughs> and yeah, I'll just keep filming until we get to the end of the path. And I can show you the last pawpaw that I've found so far, which has once again been chopped almost completely to the ground. Because, you know, <laughs> can't have nice things. And it was such a good example for pawpaw growth cycles, too. But we're just coming back this way. Someday in the winter I'll do this again. It won't be super hot. We can pause. And you can look at all the sweet leaf. And that big dead tree. And this tree here is a black cherry. Don't see any fruit though. It's kind of falling down. All right. Oh, I've got a goat cart, so we gotta let them go past. But then we're just going back to the path that way. But before then, here's some beans growing here. Not sure what kind. It might be butterfly peas or pigeon wings. There were some pigeon wings back that way, but I'm not going that way. 
I'll get a video of them next time. Like I said, this is like a really weird paved, half paved thing. And there's this dead tree trunk and lizards like to hide in there. So if you're quiet, you can sometimes see them zipping in and out. You know, I just realized I haven't even planted any of my persimmons yet because I got distracted making the video. Oh well. Now I don't think I've seen any persimmon pawpaws. I have persimmons on the brain. I haven't seen any pawpaws growing back there. It's just lots of beautyberry. a bite on my shoulder. And I think this is the tree there. There were beans, yes. Here are the leaves. They're not flowering yet, but they're butterfly peas that have white flowers instead of purple. So they might be a subspecies. We're not sure. Because it's multiple individuals that do it, and there's a lot more on that side of the road, further that way, which is further west. It's either that tree or this one. I can't never, cannot remember. Oh, cool. Well, let's look at this stick. I don't know what this is, but it's cool. And there's some resurrection fern and Spanish moss and whatever that is. You know, I'll just take this home and we can just watch it as it does stuff. Look, I touched it. There's that kind of mushroom. So, yeah, let's keep going. There's no pawpaws here, but there is one at the very end of the path which is the first one that I have ever found in the wild and the first one I found here in Georgia. Also, here's some more beans. Beans always have leaves of three. Kinda like poison ivy, but not like poison ivy. Here's, here's some poison ivy for comparison. Poison ivy has the serrated leaves, beans do not. And this is Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper has five leaves and is harmless unless you just happen to be unlucky enough to be allergic to it in particular. So yeah, here's some Virginia creeper. I'll even touch it to prove it. And these form really cool looking flat well yeah I guess the flowers are cool. But the like the stems turn red and the flowers are yellowy. It's really cool looking. <laughs> I probably should have showed you some of the elephant's feet, but I always forget about them, so. Alright, here's an elephant's foot. I can only assume that they're called that because the leaves are flat on the ground, like they've been stepped on by an elephant, and then they send a stem straight up, and these will eventually open into, like, light blue or purple flowers, I think. Some of them are white. We are almost to the pawpaw up here. And I think we passed the other little baby persimmon that I found recently. Yeah, we're past that. And then at this section here by this street lamp, there's a lot of butterfly peas that grow in there, but they're not flowering yet, so you can't see them. When they start flowering, I'll make a video. Wait, I think I see one. 
when you're walking in grass, look not only for snakes, but fire ants. Here is an unopened butterfly pea. You can see the purple color it will be when it opens. Maybe I can uncurl it. Kinda. So they are, they've got like one big connected petal that's purple with a white stripe in the center. And then another purple over top that is unique to peas. And they've got these three pointed leaves. And the leaves, they kind of like, they got little hairs on them so they'll stick to you, which is interesting. I assume that's how they help to climb things. And then those, you know I did say this was not going to be a general plant video, but it's too late. All those tall things up there are devil's walking stick. They've got big, oh, all right, <laughs> that piece of the stem broke off. They have big compound leaves. And then, hopefully you can see those covered in flowers. And the bees and wasps, love them. But they're all way too tall for me to get videos of. Unfortunately. We are still not at the pawpaw here. This one is really far apart from the other ones. There's another path that goes through the woods. I saw a baby deer there one time last year. And as we come around this curve, there's a bunch of non-things growing here. And there's sumac growing up there, like the video I was originally making. You can see it's silhouetted against the sun there. This is pepper, oh, blue dragonfly. Pepper vine growing there. And right here, where my beloved favorite pawpaw was growing but they just chopped it down again so it's still got that stem and that stem but there were like six more here so now it's regrowing from these little baby things and chopped off at the top all right so this is the last pawpaw for today and you can see all the damage that's been done to it but that's it. I will... Maybe I will go through the video again and count how many there were, but I might be too lazy for that. So, if you want to just put how many there were, that would be nice. Alright, bye-bye. I'm going to eat some ice cream.